I'm Chef John Howie from Sea Star Restaurant and Raw Bar, and today we're going to be making one of my guests' favorite items. It's the sesame peppercorn crusted ahi with wasabi cream and ginger soy reduction. Now let's get started. First, we have a nice big chunk of ahi here, and as you can see, it's still got some bloodline on it, and nobody wants to eat the bloodline. So we're going to remove that bloodline and just get rid of that. A little bit more trimming to do, just a touch. Okay, so we've gotten rid of that. And now for a seared ahi, we're looking to do something where we want to go right down the center heart of the ahi. That's the best part, and that's what we're looking for here. So we're going to take a nice big chunk and just slice right down to the skin. Come right through there, get it off the skin. And that's a beautiful chunk of ahi. We're going to cut off two nice pieces here. And so we want some blocks. So about the same size all the way around, as you can tell. That's a beautiful look there. Get rid of any scales or anything that might be on there. And then one more piece. Ah, very nice. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to set it aside because these pieces here, and you could actually get one more block cut out of here if you were looking to do that. So, but the rest of it is really great for pokey or possibly for even a, a sashimi or something like that. So, or you can cut it into steaks and grill it. That's another way to use it. Now, what we want to do here is we're just going to lightly oil a searing pan here. And then we're going to take a little bit of that oil and rub it onto the ahi as well. I'm going to give it a little bit of pink sea salt just around the outside, just lightly seasoned. And then I have a mixture here, a great mixture of white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. They're untoasted and a little bit of black pepper. And we are just going to put that ahi right into there and give it a nice exterior crust. It's just a beautiful look. There you go. You don't need to press it on. It just kind of sticks on on its own. We'll get both of those pieces in there. And they're nicely coated. And we'll get ready to sear now. That pan is just getting hot enough. You can see just a little bit of smoke coming off the pan. And what we want to do here is just lay the ahi into the pan. Get a little searing sound. And this is going to take about 30 minutes, or <laughs> How about 30 seconds? 30 minutes, you wouldn't want to eat that ahi. So 30 seconds, and we're going to let it turn all four sides, about 30 seconds a side, and then we're going to come back and finish the plate. Now, two of the things that we're going to use with this is a ginger soy reduction. I said, I'm going to show you how to talk to you about how to make this since it's already been made. Basically, we reduce some light soy sauce with a touch of cornstarch and then finish it with some fresh ginger juice. Just take ground up ginger that's fresh and press it out and you'll get some juice out of that. And wasabi cream is really very simple. It's a little bit of cream, a little bit of water added to powdered wasabi. And so you end up with this nice cream that can be drawn into the uh, wasabi, or the wasabi can be drawn into the ginger soy reduction. It makes for a beautiful presentation. All right, we'll turn the ahi. Get some nice color on that. You don't want to cook your ahi very far. Ahi tends to get really dry if it's cooked past the medium rare. And what we're trying to do here is just get some nice sear on the outside of the fish. And I think most people make the mistake of searing their ahi for too long. That's the biggest mistake you can make with an ahi. So what we want is fish that's still very rare inside, actually cold inside, and just has been seared around the outside edges. One of the other nice things about this dish, if you want, you can prepare this a little bit ahead of time and just keep it in your refrigerator and wait to finish it later. So it's just finishing its last searing side. And we're going to bring that out. And as you can see, it's just got color around the outside edges. Finish that up. Turn the pan off. And then we'll cut this piece into some nice, beautiful chunks here. You want to slice through that and then come down with one quick slice down to the ahi. Nice sear around the outside, but still beautiful and red on the interior. Very, very nice. Okay. 
as you can see, nice sear around the outside, but still actually a little bit of chill on the inside. Okay, for presentation here, what we're going to do is we're going to take and pour some of that ginger soy reduction right onto the front of the plate. See, that's nice and thick. And then I'm going to line through it some lines of the wasabi cream. And then we'll take that and we'll do what we call drawing the lines out. And so we'll take, in this case, a thermometer and just draw those out. It makes for a beautiful presentation. There you go. And then we'll lay the ahi pieces, slightly overlapped, right on the edge of that sauce. And those are absolutely gorgeous. Got those pieces there. And now, classic to most Japanese cuisine, and this is sort of a style of Japanese cuisine. We're going to use some pickled ginger, sort of make that into a little rose. Here I have daikon sprouts, and, and this is optional, but they make for really nice flavor in addition to the dish, as well as a beautiful color. And then a little cilantro sprig off to the side, and again. Here you have a beautiful seared ahi with sesame, peppercorn, and ginger soy reduction and wasabi cream.